Step 1. Go under the description of this video and click on the WoW Client link and the Repack link. These are Mediafire links of my own personal uploads. Next, click on the DNS link and the Database Manager link. Download and install Heidi SQL. Verify that all three files are downloading. Sign up for no IP. Once you're in, let's create our own host name. You can pick any name that you want, followed by the domain. Once you've created it, it will show your host name and your external IP address. Open up your command prompt, type in ipconfig space slash all and find your default gateway address of whichever adapter you're using to connect to the internet. Enter that IP into your browser. Log into your modem. Your username and password should be located on your physical modem. If not, contact your service provider if you don't know your password. Next, go into your adapter settings and make sure that your internet has a static IP address. If you don't do this, then every single time you restart your computer, you're gonna get a new IP address dynamically by DHCP, and you're gonna have to redo the port forwarding every time. Once your internet resets, we can test it out by pinging google.com and we can see that it works. Now we're going to create two port forwarding rules. The first one is going to be for 8085, both protocols, TCP and UDP. You can enter your IP address manually or you can select the device name. To find the device name, type in system information and find the system name of your computer. Create a new folder on your desktop or wherever where you're going to be putting those World of Warcraft server files. Put the downloaded repack in here and unzip it. While it's unzipping, go ahead and install Heidi SQL. Next, we're going to go to your C drive, Windows, System32, Drivers, Etsy, and we're going to grab this host file and edit it. In order to edit it, you have to draw it out into your desktop because of permissions issues. A different way to find your IP address externally is using IP Chicken. Once you've entered in your external IP address, followed by your no IP host name, you can go ahead and save it and put it back into the folder. Now run the mysql.bat server in the AC Web Repack server folder. So open up Heidi SQL, click on new, and type in the password spelled out A-S-C-E-N-T for ascent. Now we're going to expand the auth repo and open up the realm list data table. Now click on data and we're going to change the address to your external IP address you found on IP chicken and your local address is going to be the one 
in the command prompt, the IPv4, the one that you statically assigned it. Now you can change the name to update the name of your realm. Next, we'll open up authserver.exe under the AC we have repack core folder. Once it's ready, let's open up the world server and let's create our first account. Account create account name and the password follows it. And this is how you create a GM account. Now we can go ahead and unzip our WoW client folder. I recommend deleting the cache folder just to delete any kind of saved data. Go under data, ENUS, and under realm list, we're going to type in 127.0.0.1. This is a local loopback address that you're going to be using on your own computer that hosts the server. If you're using any other computer outside of your server, if it's in your same house, then you're going to want to use the local address of that computer. Or if your friends are connecting or someone else is connecting from a different location, then you're going to use the host name that you got from no IP. Here you can see that I can't connect. So I have AVG, my virus protector, blocking it. So I'm going to go ahead and unblock it. And I'm going to reopen all of the server files and verify that it can publicly connect. Another reason why your game might not work is if you put it into your D drive. The server must be running on your C drive. It won't work on D by default. As you can see, now I'm on my server with all of my friends. Thanks for watching.